Hi guys, Diana here. Coming in to do a tutorial today uh, on how to make this Christmas bauble. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to make that. So what you're going to need is some strips of fabric. These are um, two inches. Um, I'm not sure how long they are because I just I just made sure they would fit around the ball. So if you just make sure that your fabric fits from the top to the bottom of your ball, it'll be big enough. Okay, and so you're going to need some strips of fabric in two colours. So I've got some here. Something to, for, to decorate with. So I've got some pearls on this one, but you can use cording like this. You can use that. And I've got this one, which is a Christmas one. So you can use something like that. Um, but I'm using, I'm going to use this again. Um, and then you're going to need some ribbon to make some a bow or two, like uh, we've done here. And I'll put them on the top and one on the bottom. So you need some ribbon to do that, and you're going to make a loop as well. So that's the ribbon. You're going to need a Stanley knife or some sort of sharp implement. You could use a um, a craft knife that would work as well. And you're going to need something to push your fabric in with. So I'm going to use my my Tim Holtz pokey thing and you're going to need styrofoam balls aside for the minute what you're going to do is grab yourself a styrofoam ball and with the ball you're going to have to make some lines and I just freehanded it. I just grabbed a marker. Oh, you're going to need a marker. <laughs> um, I just grabbed a marker. And all I did was hold the marker and then just go around the ball, just freehand, and draw the lines. They don't have to be perfect, perfect, because nobody will know. And, um, and just go around and draw the lines so that you have eight segments. Okay, and when you've done that... Then you grab your Stanley knife or your craft knife and cut along all those all those lines. And your ball will look something like this. A bit ragged, but I've cut I've cut into all those lines there. All the way through each line around. Okay. Um, when you've done that, you're going to grab a strip of fabric and draw a ball and put it on one of the segments. And as you can see, mine's heaps wider than the than the segment. Whoa! <laughs> and um, oh, it goes this way. And um, you grab your pokey tool. I actually had a different pokey tool, but I broke it. So you're just going to push the fabric into the cart like that. See how I'm pushing that in there or tucking it in? So you just push that in and make sure you're, if your fabric's like mine and it's way over, make sure you're going in the right cut and not over to the second one. <laughs> So you just push it in along the cut. You'll it'll go in because it's cut, so you'll be able to feel where it's going. And as I've got excess fabric, I'm going to use my Martha Stewart scissors, which are super sharp. And they just go. I'm just going to cut along along that. Take off the excess. Anything that's sticking out like that. 
now you've got like a neat edge but we don't want that edge sticking out because you can see my edge is sticking out but what I'm going to do is just tuck push that in to the styrofoam so you haven't got an edge at all because you don't want to see that so you just push that in like that And there you go, and it's nice and neat and tucked in now. So now you're going to grab, or you can do all, you can do like skip one and then do the next one with the same fabric, or you can go along and change fabric. I'll cut my pieces. Um, so you know, you can um, miss or skip one and then go and do the green again, or you can go straight in and do a red one next door to the green. What I like to do is I like to to skip them and um, and then I'll do the one next door. So I'll do one colour and then the next one. So I'm just going to use some more green on this one and tuck that in just like that. scissors and cut off the, the excess fabric I've just pulled that out with my scissors so I'm going to push it back in to there fabric back in there so you don't see it. Make sure it's all tucked in. Tucked in there, the green one. I'm gonna get grab another green one. And do the next one. Goes this way. Okay, so done. So cute. And also, these could be made made for Halloween. You could do them as a pumpkin. Um, in you know, orange. Uh, um, we don't celebrate Halloween, so um, we. I'm not gonna make a pumpkin. We we don't do. We don't. I don't know. Um, Halloween's not that. Um, celebrated that much in Australia so, so we've, we're done with that and I'm just okay so now we're going to use this so what you're going to do is grab your ball and from the center which is here you're going to put glue and run it down each of the segment sides okay so you're just gonna put some glue there and run it down in between where you did the tucking in okay so and then you grab your pearl and glue that on just like that see and then go all the way oh my glue is cold okay <laughs> we'll do it again some more glue in there it's not hot enough that's what it is it's cooling down too quickly it's not hot enough yet but I can't wait any longer I can't have you guys bored okay so put some more glue run it down when you get to the other side you come back up to the other side of that segment no bring that down and then go straight back up that other side okay and that'll give you something that looks like that oh, 
glue straight back up the other side there and around the corner <laughs> and glue strings Ugh, you should have seen the glue strings that I had going on when I was doing the, the other wreath project that I did uh, like that And then when you get to the end, you just take the glue right up to the end there and grab your scissors and just nip that off like that. Hey, and now it's all covered and pretty. And now all I'm going to do is grab my loop. It's just a piece of ribbon tied at the end, folded over and tied at the end, just in a knot. And I'm just going to put some glue in the hole, just in the middle there, in that hole. And then I'm just going to push this into that hole. Like that. And then that'll hang like that. And we've got glue everywhere here. And I'll whack some glue on the back of that. And pop that up here on one side of the ribbon. One side of the loop, I mean, rather. <laughs> um, and then a blob of glue on that bow. And put that on that side of the loop. And then on the bottom, just whack some glue in the middle. Grab your other bow and just push that in to that glue. Like that. See? And you're done. Finished. How quick and oh, glue strings. How quick and easy is that? I mean, you could even put a tassel off the bottom. You could, um, you know, get, embellish it however you like. But th this way is quick and easy and it gives a good look. So, hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Thanks so much for watching. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Bye.